All right, everybody, welcome back to Brailsford Rides. I'm Matt again here for another episode. I just want to do a quick video. I just watched the S650 uh, debut and release, and there's a couple things I really want to hit on. Um, actually, one thing, there's only really one thing I want to talk about. So this new Dark Horse Mustang. I do think it's a really cool idea for Ford to come out with another performance car, uh, create a whole new namesake. But I think that, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of a good idea in my opinion when you expect that to get carried forward, but the way the whole world's progressing, it doesn't sound like uh, V8s are the future. Um, I think that since they did make a Gen 4 Coyote, and it's a 302, as much as I wanted to have one of the last generations of Boss 302, I think it was a great opportunity to come back with the Boss 302. Um, this, this Dark Horse, uh, the badging of it, in my opinion, is trying to go directly after Dodge. Um, it seems like a total Dodge move. You know, you got the Demon, the Hellcat, uh, the freaking Red Eye. Uh, the badges just look like the Dodge badges to me. Um, you know, I don't hate it, but I just think that it's not, it's not lined up with the performance cars that I expect to come out from Ford. Let me say, though, that I do love the new Dark Horse Mustang. I think it looks pretty freaking sick. Uh, the interior, I love all that high tech, uh, the, all the, the displays you got, like all the way across the dash. I think it looks great. Uh, the exterior, that paint, that gray color they had. And I've seen interior pictures with white Recaros, and I just think it looks great coupled up with that car. Um, but honestly, I think Ford missed a great opportunity to bring back the Boss namesake one more time uh, with another V8 three, uh, 302. And uh, they dropped the ball because it's a manual car. Um, but you know what? I'm okay with it because that just means that I've got probably one of the last Boss 302s ever ever to be made. Uh, the, the, what I've heard in the past is that there probably will never be another Boss and that it's likely it might be the Boss EO2, you know, not really EO2, but Electric Boss. And so, um, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think, though. Do you guys think Dark Horse is a cool namesake or do you guys think they should have done a Boss 302? This is just from a Boss 302 owner's perspective. Uh, I don't really have too much else to comment on. I just wanted to see what your guys' opinion was. And uh, yeah, let me know down below. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me hear what you think. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up and do the green. Bitch, you ain't seen anything.